Almost 80 years after the Holocaust, a concerning new survey shows millennials and Gen Z have a lack of knowledge of what happened during that historical event. According to the Conference on Jewish Material Claims Against Germany, the survey asked Americans ages 18 to 39 about basic Holocaust knowledge. It found 63% of respondents didn't know 6 million Jews died in the Holocaust, and 48% could not name a concentration or death camp. 11% of respondents also said they thought the Jews actually caused the Holocaust. The survey broke down those results by state. Florida had one of the lowest scores in the country. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser shows you how the Florida Holocaust Museum in St. Petersburg hopes to address that deficiency by providing educators the tools they need to teach history and tolerance. I think that headlines like that are always alarming. Um, and always a good wake up call. Beth Gelman, executive director of the Florida Holocaust Museum in St. Petersburg, was shocked when she heard the results of a recent survey and just how many young people are unaware of the scope and horror of the Holocaust. If you live in an area and there aren't any Holocaust survivors, how do you have that experience? The museum is now collecting donations to expand its Trunks of Hope program. It provides teachers and students free of charge trunks filled with age-appropriate Holocaust education materials. Kids like you aren't allowed in the club. Videos, books, and learning guides that teach not only the history of the Holocaust, but lessons in tolerance and how to confront hate and prejudice. And today, as we're seeing such a rise of racism and anti-Semitism and other identity-based hatreds, it's important to understand that the people who hate one truly hate all. The museum is also working with the Florida Department of Education to expand Holocaust education in public schools through a new resource it plans to formally unveil next week, a digital version of its trunk program for virtual and e-learning. So rather than physically filled to the brim with resources, this is uh, filled to the brim with with links. The Florida Holocaust Museum itself remains closed for now due to COVID-19, but the educational effort continues. They're offering virtual tours, digital access to the collection database, and even helping to set up live Zoom interviews with Holocaust survivors. Teachers can ask for those free materials through the Florida Holocaust Museum's website and Facebook page. Earlier this year, President Trump signed the Never Again Education Act, which seeks to expand Holocaust education in the U.S. Florida is one of 12 states that currently require schools to teach the history of the Holocaust.